Bi Tan, Green Lake, 1946, Oil on Canvas. Bi Tan, a major water source for the Taipei area, is located in the area of Xindian. Located close to the Taipei Basin, Bi Tan is a collection point for water flowing down from the surrounding mountains. It continues to be a prosperous area for tourism, especially on weekends. The boating industry is naturally the main beneficiary, although there are other notable sites to visit in the area. In this picture, on the shoal beneath the suspension bridge, a good number of people enjoy close proximity to the water without the need of a boat. Even still. Quite a few boats move about nearby. Another man fishes from the shoreline. Apparently, no regulation existed at the time prohibiting such activities in and around Bitan. This is very different from what we see in the area nowadays, as Bitan appears to be much wider, and large embankments line its shores. Boating activities are very popular on weekends, and many young people enjoy boat racing. As is true in this picture, many people still enjoy walking above the Bitan on a suspension bridge. As he so often did, Mr. Chen chose an elevated viewpoint from which to work. Overlooking the scenery to enlarge the lake in the foreground. And also present the Bitan Bridge, which hung above the water. The mountains on both sides were still not fully cultivated; therefore, there are few trees, while large areas of red soil dotted the nearby hillsides. The oft limpid surface of the water and the unlimited depth of the lake is what the painter focused on. Rather than the tourists, although the water and the sky vary in color, they also appear in harmony with one another. Despite its small size, this painting still presents a great amount of detail, and as such is held in high regard. This painting was done around the time that Chen was elected as a city councilor, but unfortunately, he was executed. On the twenty-eighth of February of the following year, Bitan, located in Xindian, was the most famous scenic place in Taiwan at the time, as almost all Taiwanese had visited the area and had walked across the suspension bridge, or had been boating on the lake in the nineteen fifties and sixties. Chen Chenpo. Intended to show the unique landscape of Bitan in his late life, footpaths were prevalent in the area and started from Xindian, going through Zhonghe, Tuchen, and Sanxia. They also wind their way through the dense forest and provide a wonderfully cool getaway from the city. Each path is clearly marked and easy to follow without losing one's way. Should you have the time, you should visit the area and enjoy the beautiful scenery.